hello and welcome to our channel um, thank you for watching um, if you have seen our previous videos you will know that normally they are quite um, relaxing uh, informative uh, perhaps funny um, I'm afraid this one isn't um, and the reason is that our farm um, has been hit by a huge fire and um, not only our farm, the entire, entire valley, the village, um, the mountain range of Serra da Estrela. So uh, oh, this is just a, a short recount of what has been, what has happened uh, in, within the last few days of our lives. hardly anything green now but, you know everything seemed to be parched and brown um, because of the lack of water and the heat we've been suffering this year the atmosphere is quite quite striking actually because it, it feels like um, well, the light, the light is it's as if it's been shining through um, like a filter, orange filter. the fire. It looks actually worse than yesterday.
these clouds look very sinister indeed. Um, it's the fourth day of the fire and I'm afraid it's coming closer, closer to us. Um, so we are preparing as much as we can. You can see how it moves, how fast it moves. Um, it's a huge, huge fire this year. It's a, one of the biggest. It's such a shame, such a shame really. So we are preparing, we are removing everything around the house, anything that can caught flame and we will sprinkle everywhere water. I know it sounds a little bit dramatic but um, I think the situation is a little bit dramatic now. I, it cannot be ignored really. Um, you can see that it's huge. I believe all that 1,100 firefighters are at the scene but uh, this is coming from very close to us this is not somewhere 30 kilometers away yeah so I'm afraid there must be a fire closer to us So the village now is in a smoke cloud and everything above and around the village the smell is awful it's getting thicker and thicker So one more time, uh, we just got an update from our friends. They have evacuated their land. It's not that far from us, but it's uh, over two hills uh, in that direction. Um, I don't know. Nothing much to see at the moment. Uh, the air is still very bad quality. Uh, the smoke everywhere. Uh, the valley is filled with smoke. Uh, the clouds are not as um, crazy or apocalyptic as they were before 
but um, I think that might be actually the worst thing. It might be quite more sinister at the moment because you don't know whether they're coming or, or you know, what's, what, what's going on. Uh, we have heard more sirens in the village, Mumbairush. Uh, we had a call from a friend who said that we are more than welcome to stay in the house in the village. Uh, they are observing what's going on. So that's uh, very nice to hear, uh, to have the assurance. So we have moved the car at the bottom of uh, the field down there, the driveway, because it's coming from the other side. So uh, it's a safe escape route there. So now at the moment we are collecting stuff, um, packing bags with the essentials, mainly documents, um, and the valuables we have, not that we have many, um, but that is the last resort for us because we would really like to stay put and um, uh, defend the house and the land without um, having to leave. But we'll see, we'll assess that as the time goes on. It's around um, half eight in the evening. We are still here. You can see, I don't know how well can you see actually. Uh, because to me, this is very blurred and the valley is no longer a valley visible. Um, I just learned that the fire is in Fogosina, which is probably around um, 16 kilometers um, via road but six kilometers um, in the air so but apparently it's under control so uh, I really don't want to panic because I think when you're panicking you mm, tend to make many more mistakes than when you stay calm we have done as much preparation as we could um, and I suppose it's going to be a long night. The car is ready to go if there is a need for it. And I think it looks like like a um, sleepless night tonight. But um, I'd rather stay here than to be elsewhere not knowing what's going on. Mm, yeah, might be um, a little bit risky, but without taking risks in life, you can't get further. Uh, I'm afraid um, it's coming closer. It is getting fairly close to where we are, to towards our village. So, ah, think about us, everyone. Wish us well. wind direction has changed and it's burning above the Linares now so we are going down to our land now to see what we can do what's been happening
ten strom už taky měl dávno být pryč. Takže to je... Wow. Vidíš, tady ta zeď to zastavila. Aha, u nás tady, ok, už to vidím. Uh, we are getting closer to our land. Ok, wow. Uh, don't know whether it's still safe, but we have to get through. Okay, so here we are. Oi, Chile, ne? How do you wish Chile? Bees, bees. Okay, just now we saw the tree. Monotano. But it stopped. To zastavilo. Že by to šlo dál. Ok. So we are by the house. Oh, our heroes. Oh. Our heroes. Oh. is still standing uh, our house is standing our animals are still alive thanks to two people to our dear friends we have reached out uh, to them um, for help when the fire was getting incredibly close uh, with a speed of um, I haven't experienced in my life and um, so they didn't hesitate jump in the car uh, drove over, got through, the GNRs uh, persuaded them to let them through. Um, but unfortunately we have missed each other by probably a minute, maybe seconds, uh, because we had to flee. We had to flee, there was no other way for us uh, to stay. Uh, we were scared, we got scared. Um, when I saw the huge funnel of smoke, and when I heard the roar of the fire, I, I made instant decision to go. So we missed each other. Um, and they arrived at the scene, as we learned later. Um, everything was covered in smoke, it was orange, the fire was raging. But they didn't leave, they stayed. They stayed and they were extinguishing fire with buckets of water. They uh, kept our animals safe. They managed to keep our house safe. So those two people are true heroes to us. I'm still very overwhelmed and very emotional every time I think of it, every time I um, see them. It's, it's a trauma that will stay with us for some time, but on the other hand, we are extremely, extremely grateful, and we are forever in the depths. Oh, so here we are. It's, uh, and the fire is burning above Linares now. I don't know whether you can see. Yeah, over there. Right. But all this is burnt. And the goats are safe, munching happily. 
Wow. So, wow. I don't know what to do. Around the house. It's, look at this, incredible. Incredible. This is burning. Over there, it's still burning a little bit. But the garden is safe by the look of it. And this is our hero. <laughs> I have no words. I really don't. I really, you know, my, my mind is just not with it at all. Yeah. Wow. The uh, Ruja is happy. She's happy. She's very happy. Look at that. She was really scared. Yeah, I'm she sure. Was standing there behind, and the fire was still the shit. Yeah. The smoke was going. Circling around there. Uh. Try to find the right spot. Yeah. Drop it. Those are the real heroes. Yeah. <sighs> the hilltops above Linares are burning still. It's a devastating, devastating sight to see. Really devastating. So this is a <laughs> this is a message from us. Um, as you can see, I have um, succumbed to <laughs> the emotions. I have broke down um, just a few minutes ago because I've um, been walking around um, the Quinta and um, <sighs> trying to avoid more sparkles, more flames uh, to be ignited because lots of um, trees are still smoldering and um, so with the wind it's not very nice and so I broke down because I, I've um, I, I came to a hazelnut tree and it was full with hazelnuts and uh, the tree is um, with no leaves burnt and the hazelnuts are just still there completely burnt and I felt so sorry <laughs> I felt so sorry for all the trees that have burnt and for the animals the little tiny things <laughs> we take for granted we don't see we don't notice uh, the bees bees were kind of recovering they were coming back to the beehives uh, but it's devastating it's absolutely devastating and I have to say that um, we haven't seen one uh, fireman on our land not even one and we are not close as you can see behind me there is a village we are not close from the village uh, or far from the village I should say not even one uh, and uh, I know that they are standing in the village just watching so, if anybody one more time asks to donate water or, f or food to Bombayrush, I will not do it. I will tell them their job, because they don't. If they did, the fire would not have spread so far as it has and ruined so many uh, homes and so many properties, so much land burnt. We don't know the extent of the burn. Um, of our friends over in the valley 
I know they have all evacuated. They have fled, and um, uh, all their livelihoods were there. But um, I, I, I dare to think. I, I really dare to think what has happened there. I know you may say that you know, human lives are saved, but oh, we are not the only one. We are not the only one in the world. And this is the this is a reminder. That we are not the only one. We are not superior to anyone, to anything on this earth. We should live with nature in harmony. We should help each other. The nature helps us so much, supplies us so much, supplies us with everything. And what do we do? Ruin it all. <laughs> because all this has happened because of humans' behavior. Like it or not. I'm not going to blame it on global warming. I'm blaming it on human behavior. Nothing else. So think about it. <laughs> Think about it long and hard before you buy anything new, before you go to shop and before you bought with something you have bought already and you want something new because it makes you feel better. Fuck it. Fuck it all. Because without nature, we won't be here. Without water, we won't be here, that's for sure. So think about it. Think about your actions, your future. Think about it. Thank <laughs> you.